Hello, I'm Doug and this is the Taste and Sensibility channel. And today on the second installment of Christmas Blinds for 2021, we're looking at 15 year old bourbons. So before we get into it and before I forget, let me remind you to like and comment and leave questions and share and subscribe and click on that bell icon to get notified when the new videos come out. We're doing six blinds like this in December. This is the second one. It's going to be one on rums, and then there's going to be three blind, well, three flights I got from whiskey tubers. One of them is fully blind, but I know what the other two contain, but I will taste them blind, and I think they'll be pretty interesting. So let's see what's on the agenda tonight. I've already poured them. They've been sitting out for 45 minutes or so. And that they are already been mixed up and all the glasses look identical. But what we have here is Sam Houston 15 year old Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey at 103 proof. This is LA number one, Louisiana. It's a batch of two barrels put together. I don't know if they're similar profiles or different profiles, but all the blends seem to be two or three barrels. And what else? We have George Dickel 15 year single barrel whiskey. This one is 50.6 ABV. So that's in one of these glasses. Another one is IW Harper 15 in this decanter like bottle, which is really stunning to see it on a shelf. That's somewhere in there. Another one I threw in because I have it is Wild Turkey Decades, a gift from a dear friend, and it is not really 15 year age stated, it is, it is a blend of 10 to 20 year old bourbons. So it's all wild turkey. And it's in one of those glasses somewhere. And just to throw in something different, this is a Knob Creek 12 year old. So different distilleries all. Oh, I think this stuff is Barton. I don't remember where I.W. Harper comes from. And everyone knows Dickel, everyone knows Wild Turkey, everyone knows Beam and Knob Creek. So that's what's in here. So shouldn't be too hard to tell them apart, but this is not what I usually do. I've ditched my uh, single malt scotch advent calendars. And we are working on more bourbony things this year. So I've got uh, water, I've got... Uh, crackers and oat cakes and water to add and we will just go through with the nosing and tasting and I'm just going to go across your left to right and see what I find hmm. not surprising to say something old woody I often get next to nothing on some bourbons on the nose and it really takes a uh, mouthful to tell you something about it. This one has interesting notes. There's something like some sort of car polish, solvent. Doesn't bother me yet, but I'm not getting vanilla or wood. Okay, so let's say no nose. Huh. Polish, car polish, solvent. All the ABVs are close to 100, so I'm not going to worry about guessing the AV, ABVs or using that as, a, as an ID tool. But okay, glass A didn't tell me a lot bourbon wise. Let's see if this one's different. Hmm, not solventy, not like car polish. But uh, not a lot on the nose either. This happens a lot with uh, some scotches and a lot of bourbons. My nose doesn't respond. I get so much more with uh, mezcals or tequila. And... A little bit more than this with rums. 
So I'm looking for graininess, looking for rye spice, looking for wood and vanilla and cherry. And just not getting it there. So that's okay. I'm not too worried. I think they're going to taste really good. Glass C. Let's go. A little ethanol. There's something there. Tiny bit woody. And maybe rye like spice notes. And it's not really jumping out of the glass, but it's got a hint of uh, more bourbony nuts. So that's good. My nose works, it's just not working any better than it usually does. Okay, that's different, but. What I'm smelling is not necessarily bourbon. Woody. Oaky. Hints of herbal notes. Faint, faint spices or herbal things. But not the usual bourbon suspects. Nothing really strong about that, so <laughs> this nosing is going to be just a, a washout. Glassy. Corn, dusty corn. Faint oakiness. Wow. Okay, I'm always amazed at how Jason on Mash a Drum just goes through and rattles off stuff in the nose. He goes, I think I know what this is. Well, I don't do that. I'm going to have to taste them. Okay, and I'm happy to taste them for you. So, different smell. Mouth cleanse after all that sniffing. Yeah, I didn't take any notes on the nose. It doesn't matter. Okay. Tasting glass A. Woo. Okay. It has a little spicy, a little spiky. Get some ethanol. Definitely bitterness of uh, being in wood for a long time. So it's bitter from the mid palate on. Ooh, I'm getting a Barton vibe from that. So I'm saying that might be the same Houston. Although I'm not really trying to guess that. It's just jumping out at me that way. Finished, it goes on and on. It's a spicy, bitter and oaky. And bitter in a nice way. It's not too bitter. So that's my uh, prejudice on this one. I think it's Barton Juice and the Sam Houston, 15. Although, I haven't had the IW Harper in a long time. Don't know why it couldn't be that one. I'll, I'll make decisions later. Okay, glass B. So it's very straightforward, corny, grainy, dusty corn. Cherry, I'd say, is the main uh, bourbon note I'm usually looking for. Doesn't seem to be a long finish. Cherry, a little oak on the back. Not standing out in a big way. Not bitter, not old, not spicy. 
So I would tend to rule out the wild turkey. I would tend to rule out the I.W. Harper. You might say, <laughs> and it doesn't strike me as the Dickel. So I'm saying this might be the Knob Creek 12. I expect it to be a little nuttier, oakier. I think I'm identifying by the absence of things I'm expecting in these uh, 15 year things. Uh, nope, I don't think there's enough rice spice to be the turkey or oak to be the I.W. Harper, which I remember being pretty, pretty old, woody, bitter. Okay, glass C. What am I going to find here? Oh, wow. Not very familiar. Interesting. Let's see. It's not striking me as a real long finish. Hmm. That could be the Knob Creek 12. A little bit of rye spice or wood spice at the end. So I'm hashing it out. I don't get the usual dusty corn things I get with wild turkey. Those kind of fade away when they get older and get oakier. So I'm really torn. I don't think it's the I.W. Harper. Here I'm trying to guess everything. It might be that my palate's really made for scotch and not bourbon. Okay, oh man. There's a little more bitterness on the end. A little more, a little more heat from the ethanol. Okay, I'm picking up more things. Ooh, okay. Hard to say. Mm. Okay, this could be one of the 15s. Or Knob Creek. Wow. Thinking it's a higher proof than the rest of them, but it's <laughs> sure not by much. Highest one is 103. A little cleanse. Okay, let's see what we find in glass D. Are you 15 years or are you an imposter? No real nose at this time. Okay. That is old leather, wood, tobacco type stuff. And not fruitiness, not corn, not even dusty corn. And a hint of the minerality that uh, suggests George Dickel. That tends to go away with the older stuff. And 15 years is enough to make it go away, so. Just based on that flavor profile and how old, I'd say this is really one of the 15s and most likely the Dickel. So that's good. It's got some complexity and the mineral note seems to bother some people, it doesn't bother me a bit. And I'd go, oh, this is pretty good. I thought the 15 was too old. The Dickel 15 was too old and oaky and bitter when I first got it, but it's settled down. It's calmed down. It doesn't attack me as much. I kind of like it, but I haven't had it in several months, so I don't know what kind of shape the bottle's in now, but that's that's my bias on this one. It's old and a little dickly. There you go. Let me mark down my guess. Class E. 
What's in here? 15 year old or something else? Nose gives no clues. Oh wow, okay. That is a bit spicier than the rest. I'm thinking that's telling me it's the turkey. Let me look for other things. It's got a little pop. It's got some zing. It's got some heat from rice spice or oak spice or the way turkey does that stuff. I always make people wonder, is it rice spice or is it proof? And I, I'm thinking the very same thing right now. This uh, pops a little more. It is spikier. Interesting. Get your attention. I don't get the dusty corn nuts. I usually get on normal age turkeys. I think that's a decades. I'm going to be so wrong on some of these and be all embarrassed. Okay. That is a good bourbon. It's got some age and complexity. It's not a simple eight or nine year old thing. I don't think. It's older and more complicated. So when I add a couple of drops of water to scotch whiskeys, it just opens up a whole new world of flavors in many cases. When I add it to bourbons, yeah, it doesn't do much. It is kind of a yawn. But I'm going to go through in the other direction and uh, add a little water at the end of my tasting and see if anything else new pops up. Because that's what it does, is it releases new flavors you didn't really get before or didn't get in that combination. So glassy, which I suspect it was turkey before. Let's see what's in here. Oh man, yeah, it's so spicy. Seems a little hotter. I have not changed my opinion at all. I think that's decades. From the Masters Keep collection. Two or three years back, really. About a couple drops of water are going in. Let's see if I'm introduced to anything new. If anything, it got spicier. And those are rye notes. There's some oak spice. There's some bitterness that's not usually in turkeys. I'm sticking to my uh, opinion there. But that is the uh, Masters Keep Decades. Okay, glass D. Last thought to be maybe the Dickel 15. Let's see what's going on here. Nothing going on on the nose. It's a cool, calm, collected bourbon. I think it's just under 100 proof. I don't remember exactly the number, but these are all about 100. So there's no reason for it to be really hot. Getting a hint of that mineral note. And other than that, hard to say. There's nothing really cherry or vanilla or other usual bourbon notes sticking out. I think because of the age. The wood's taking over and the uh, spirit is taking a back seat. Mm -hmm. 
no real change. Nope, it's uh, some bitter oak at the end. Leathery tobacco stuff. It's non-edible things. Or <laughs> it's all the notes I'm getting. I can't really say there's vanilla or cherry or lots of the usual bourbon notes. So could be the Barton juice, which is in Sam Houston. But I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna stick with the Dickel because nothing else really fits that profile. Okay, ready for going back through to glass C in reverse direction. Nose doesn't have a whole lot. Okay, it's hotter than most. Spice. Oak spice or rice spice? I don't know. That could be the turkey. Or the other tasting notes would make me think Knob Creek 12. It's older and oaky. And it's got the rye notes and it's a touch nutty. So I think it's consistent with the uh, decades or with the Knob Creek 12. I don't really have a bourbon palette, so this is it's not really fair putting me in this. So I'm comfortable calling that Knob Creek 12 until I taste one of these. Wow, that is, that's tough. Okay, cleanse. So let's see what we get here going in reverse order on glass B. Nothing on the nose that's very strong or pops out. So that is striking me as really nice, old, complex, a little bitter on the finish. It is oaky, but it's devoid of the fruitiness of younger Knob Creeks, younger Barton, if the, anything, there's a caramel note and oak, 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 oak. So I get the bitterness of the old oak. So it could be 15 years. It could be Knob Creek 12. I can't really say much more than that. It's a, uh, it's one of those things. It doesn't stand out enough to say. Oh, I should have been adding water, but it doesn't always do much of bourbon. I'm not that worried. So I got this as one of the most bitter of the whiskeys here. You can almost smell the bitterness in the oak notes on the on the nose. Yeah, it's really oaky now. Ooh, hot, it's burning my lips. Old, old, oaky, oak, oaky, oaky, oaky. Oh man, I'm getting ahead of the mineral note. So this could be the Dickel, or it could be the I.W. Harper 15. And I don't remember the Sam Houston tasting that way. Ooh, man. So my guess on the oakiness alone and bitterness at the end is I.W. Harper. So I thought this was the turkey, then maybe I thought this was the turkey. I thought this was the Dickel 15. I thought this was uh, Bitter and Bartony and maybe the uh, Sam Houston. And I thought this was, <laughs> both of these were the Knob Creek 12. So who knows what we're gonna find. So do I have a ranking? Wow, no. Uh, let me figure this out. 
I would say the strong bitterness on this one probably put it near last. And the spiciness and the uh, appeal of this one, maybe put it up front. Ooh. And that, oh man, I can't really rank these guys. I think I got some rice spice on this one, which might make it second. And the Dickel 15 on D probably was not a favorite. Hmm. So let's go one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, I've got it kind of in an order. So let me look at number five is a pink dot. It is George Dickel 15. So it was A, are you kidding me? No. So okie 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 is what I got at the very beginning of this bottle. And it's, yeah, it stayed bitter all the way through. And that's what I'm picking up here. I didn't pick up the minerality in A. I assigned it to someplace else. So, wow, okay. So that's my last place. So let's look at number four. Green. Green is I.W. Harper, 15, which is only 86 proof. I uh, liked it. I, it. I got this early on in my uh, whiskey journey, in my bourbon journey, because I was in a different state, and I picked it up because I knew lots of people liked it, and it was talked about, and I grabbed it, and it was like, ooh, uh, that's oaky. So it didn't bother me that much, but it was never a favorite. It was just like... Oh, here's an example of old bourbon. When you age it longer, it tastes like this. And I got the bitterness and uh, uh, I call it Dickel 15. So I remember the bitterness of it, but uh, you know the minerality didn't really enter into the competition between these two. Okay, so that's interesting. So my number three is this guy, which is, oh, the double dot. <laughs> the double dot is I know yeah the wild turkey decades so what were my notes on this guy this is the B slot I thought is it Knob Creek 12 not too oaky not spicy and I always think of <laughs> wild turkey anything is spicy and maybe the rhinos die down when it gets older yeah, Wild Turkey 101, I love because it's so spicy and pokes you and uh, jabs you and uh, wakes you up. And when it's 10 to 20 years old, it doesn't do that so much. But uh, nothing wrong with this bottle at all. It's just not what I expected. I was looking for the regular turkey profile, and when it gets older, it's a little different. So my number three, that guy. Number two is orange. Where did I find orange? Nope, it's not him. My orange is Knob Creek 12. And this is an old bottle. I bought a backup, so I've got a new one recently. But this has been open a while. It's getting kind of low. So Knob Creek is pretty solid. People don't uh, often uh, have it as a winner in blinds. I said oak spice or rye spice, hotter, 103 proof. It is 100 proof. But uh, not especially known for the rye spice. But the, you know, the 12 is going to give you a little more oak. And I did say that. So that leaves the winner is the yellow guy. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Which is the Sam Houston 15. So the Louisiana batches don't necessarily have to be like the other batches. I hear there's two. Maybe there's only one. Of these batches made from two barrels so they're probably very similar profile barrels to other states that get the sam houston 15 and uh, this was like a 120 130 dollar bottle so i was skeptical but curious so i went ahead and got it and there it is winning this flight with uh, several favorites and interesting things that i know are well aged and uh, have impressed me in the past but wow okay Sam Houston 15 wins. Who would have thought? 
I really thought I was going to identify the I.W. Harper. I thought I was going to identify Dickel. I did not. I thought I was going to identify Wild Turkey Decades from the Masters Keep Collection. Nope. Did I identify Knob Creek 12? Nope. Okay, I didn't identify anything. But that's okay, because these are all tasty. Good. They are worth their price. What is this? $50, $60? $60 probably. This was probably a $50 bottle that gives you a great idea of what age is like. And it doesn't have that all that Dickel stuff that everyone complains about. It's just great. And there's lots of old Dickel stuff and lots of blends. I.W. Harper, 15 is definitely worth a try. Yes, go for it. If you see it, just buy it. It's, it'll be one of the oldest tasting things in your collection, I think. Wild Turkey Decades. Go for it. <laughs> it's probably not around much anymore. And Sam Houston, 15. 15 year old, 103 proof, and won this one. Your batch may differ. So again, let me remind you to like this video, uh, leave comments and questions, share with friends, and subscribe to the channel and click that bell to get notified when the new videos come out. So let me cheers with number one here. So the third episode is going to be on rums, which uh, was a pretty successful episode in my 10 Taste for Whiskey Drinkers. So check that out when it comes up. Come back for all that and cheers. Hmm, that's good. Ooh, spicy. Ooh, spicy.